For the last five years, we've been consumed by a couple of questions, largely driven by the work that we do with the business clients that we work with. Those questions are, how do the best organisations in the world deliver high performance? And much more particularly, how do they sustain that over a long period of time? How do they outperform their peers decade after decade? And having answered that question, the second question was, is there common attributes that we can learn from these high performing organisations that we can apply to the work that we do with our business clients and that leaders of any organisation can learn from and implement to drive their own performance? We went to look for performance exemplars across different fields and different geographies to try to identify those institutions that were and have been at the tops of their fields for long periods of time when judged by the objective measures that matter in those fields. We went to spend time with them, we went to visit them in their various sites and to speak to their people and to those who worked with their people to really get under the skin of who those institutions were and how they worked. In the book we've covered 12 insider accounts to high performing organisations that span geographically and also sectorally. So it includes places like the St. Louis Cardinals baseball team in the US, um, Tata Group in India, the Finnish State School Education System in Europe, and Medicine Sans Frontier, the humanitarian aid agency that covers the world. And we've had some great fun doing it as well. We've met some really inspirational people met Nobel Peace Prize winners like Mohammed Yunus and the Grameen Bank in Bangladesh. And we've had really unique experiences. I had to scrub up in the Mayo Clinic and watch some brain surgery and operation. Um, I got to spend some time hanging out in the locker room in Bush Stadium with the Cardinals coaches and players and stuff like that. So we've had great fun doing this project and hopefully some of that will come across in the stories and how we've told them and also some of the insights that we've learned from those stories. I think that my most interesting moment through the, work, through the research was trying to explain to a US Marine why I wanted to come on base at Paris Island at 6 a.m. on a dark November morning with only my Irish driving license as identification because I had left my passport back in the hotel. I guess despite the diversity of the institutions that we researched, we found that there are common themes to how they achieve sustained high performance. First and foremost, we found that high performance didn't happen by accident, that as institutions their high performance was made, not born. Secondly, that the underlying source of advantage that they have and that they've maintained over the years is organisational in nature. That's what allows them not to be a supernova, if you like, that explodes and then falls back to earth over time. Thirdly, we found that there is a way of thinking about high performance that we can synthesize from under the understanding that we have in, of the models that we've studied and that we can bring to bear to inform and to guide leaders in organizations anywhere that want to achieve high performance over time.